Abuse of the award from a U.S.-based interfaith group shocked many members of Indonesia's minorities. Christians, Shia Muslims and members of the Ahmadiyya Muslim sect protested outside the presidential palace. They say the government's record in protecting the religious rights of minorities has been dismal. One of Indonesia's best-known priests wrote to the Appeal of Conscience Foundation in New York to urge it to reconsider its decision to name Yudhoyono Statesman of the Year. I'm quite shocked, to be honest. Indonesia has become less tolerant during the past 10 years, and still this is being rewarded. Didn't they make an effort to ask minorities in Indonesia? According to the U.S. State Department, at least 20 people died in religious violence in 2012, and hundreds of homes were destroyed in sectarian riots. The U.S. government and organizations like Human Rights Watch have all concluded that the Indonesian government has done little to protect religious minorities. Opponents think that President Yudhoyono should have refused the award he's receiving in New York, at least until religious minorities are better protected in Indonesia. But the president himself thinks that the Statesman Award is a great honor, not only for him, but for the country as a whole although even he admits that still much needs to be done. One unresolved issue is the difficulty Indonesia's 25 million Christians have to deal with when they want to open new churches. But the president's office says that despite several disputes, the number of churches nationwide has doubled in the last 10 years. We look 10 years back, we have a fierce uh, intra-communal conflict, never it ever happened again under President SBY. So it's a really transformation of the society. We have pocket of issues, but not at a scale as it was in the early 2000s. So in, in a sense that Indonesians are able to move in a positive direction in terms of dealing with some of sensitive issues. We still have problem, yes, but we deal with it. Recipients of the World Statement Award include former Australian Prime Minister John Howard and former French President Nicolas Sarkozy. But some Indonesians think that their president doesn't deserve to be in the same company, at least not when it comes to protecting religious freedom. Step Fasen, Al Jazeera, Jakarta.